we have uh, Evan Cameron uh, flying Darth Vader, soon to fell, and a Scarif base pilot, uh, as well as uh, Cliff L uh, running Poe Dameron and Ray. Now, I actually faced that list earlier today. You did. And uh, got my butt kicked. <laughs> uh, Ray um, loaded up with Rose, Finn, Chewbacca. Um, engine upgrade and the title uh is a very very tanky and slippery ship um and then yes. there's poe dameron with all the good stuff uh heroic r for astromech um, s foils of course pattern analyzer black one and hlc now the problem for cliff here is that he's moving first is he really yes yes oh yeah that's going to be bad for uh cliff um soon to fell and darth vader are going to have a much easier time uh pinning down both ray and poe yes um but uh they're still um tanky ray ray with all those free free dice she gets uh in the forward arc um can can really hold her own against a, a bunch of shots well we'll see if anybody actually turns up in her forward arc mm -hmm. that's that's the issue right? now we've got the scare of base pilot scare of base pilot might not be able to do much about it um, and if I'm Cliff, first thing I'm doing is I'm taking that Scarab base pilot off the table so it's not blocking my guys all over the right. place. In yeah. particular, Ray. Ray doesn't have any coordinator here to help her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if her uh, three sloop gets blocked, she's hosed. We've got Rose here. I haven't seen Rose in a while in one of these builds. Hmm. Um, that's going to allow Ray to spend any result on an attack or defense mm -hmm. roll and exchange that one result for a target lock. It's really solid. Um, I mean, when you're rolling defense dice, often you get blanks, nothing you can do with them, so boom, uh, you've got yourself a target lock for next turn. Uh, it's a great, um, great card. Uh, and in fact, it might even be better since she's shooting second here. Uh, she'll have the target lock for the shot she's about to take. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, she can she can use it on shots out of arc as well, yep, depending absolutely. upon where her turret is pointed. Yep. Um, this is an interesting Poe. It's R4 in combination with heavy laser cannon. So he's really going to probably not end up using that HLC. I think maybe he's got that HLC in here just to deal with medium and large ships. I mean, I was flying four small base ships against uh, Cliff earlier, and he managed to proc it a few times. So, um, mm. so <laughs> on you or on him? Uh, sorry? Is it on you or on uh, him? I mean, <laughs> well, less we talk about that, the, the better. Right. Um, uh, well, I mean, he was moving after me. I was running, running a bunch of I-4s, uh, so that made it easier for him, for sure. Yep. Uh, it's going to be harder here against Suntir and Vader. Uh, that scarif base pilot, though, is going to eat a couple HLC shots, almost certainly. Yes. Yeah. So if Cliff can get rid of the Scarif base quickly enough, then he can set to work on Suntir and Vader. If he doesn't get rid of the, the Scarif, then <laughs> that Scarif is going to be around to <clears throat> do lots of nasty things to his list. Now, um, let's actually take a look over at Evan's list then, I guess. We've got um, Darth Vader with Hate, FCS, Afterburners. Yep, uh, absolutely no surprise whatsoever. A pretty standard build. Uh, hate especially good. Uh, every time you take damage, you recover that many force. Uh, so Darth Vader's always going to have a pile of force tokens. Yes. Uh, which is going to be really great. Um, Cheating is the way I think of it. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, I mean, you're paying for the privilege. 78 points is a pretty... <sighs> hate is three points. Sorry? Psh, let me put hate on all my I-3 ships and how we'll see what happens. How many happens. points is it? Three. Three? Yeah, it's, it's probably three on the small be, base. Probably should be a little bit more than that. But uh, I guess we'll see uh, how, how well that goes for, for Evan. Uh, we've got Sunterfell with Predator and Shield upgrade. And we've also got uh, Scarif Base Pilot with Death Troopers. Now, what does Death Troopers do exactly? Do you know? Do you know? Um, it's something to do with, with stress. There we go. Okay. So during it's activation really phase, bad for Poe. The enemy ships at range 0 to 1 cannot remove stress tokens. So if you charge at the Scarif Base Pilot uh, and do a blue maneuver that gets you into range 1 of the Scarif Base Pilot, you don't get to remove your stress. You're stuck with it. Well, we'll see exactly what's happening here. Uh, Suntir fell in his red interceptor. That's interesting. Normally you don't see the it's red It's canonically interceptor. incorrect. We'll have yeah. to chastise Evan for yeah, it later. absolutely. That's Karno Jax's interceptor, if I It is. Correct. It's a Royal Guard vehicle. Yep. Uh, tsk, tsk. Uh, <laughs> what can you say? He's a scrub. <laughs> well, that's all right. It's more visually interesting. All right. So Suntir fell just swinging around. Saying, come fight me, Ray. 
and Vader. Vader doing his thing. Now, Vader can use as many Force tokens as he wants for as many actions as he wants. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, Vader can do actions until he runs out of Force. Mm -hmm. So really the limit is how much Force he's willing to spend on any given turn and how much Force he has. <clears throat> now, we've got this trio of rocks towards Cliff's end of the map, that uh, upside-down L shape, mm -hmm. um, which uh, is really bad for Rey. Because if Soontir doesn't, in fact, come at um, Ray in a front arc, uh, Ray may well have to deal with those rocks. And there's like one spot she can go there with a three bank, right? Gets her set up to come through there. Right, but that's still pretty narrow, right? You've got to be perfectly placed if you want to make your way through those rocks. Yeah, it brings Ray's choice of maneuvers down to nothing. Now, he may be planning on doing a two turn next turn with Ray. And just send her along the side to, as I suggested earlier. Pretty sure Ray just the, self bumped in that first turn. Kill the living heck out of that scarif because you don't want it to live. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that Poe could take care of the scarif himself. Um, if he nah, wanted. Not With, in one round. Well, no, not, sorry, not in one round. But um, And because it is Death Troopers, he pretty much has to. Uh, we'll see. Uh, part of this is coming down to the head game. I mean, this is a two-ship versus a three-ship. Some classic, almost 1.0-looking X-Wing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, this is about which way Poe decides to turn. He's got to move first. So does he do a one-bank? Does he, you know, try to keep both possibilities in arc? Or does he commit to one? And if Vader comes in on his behind, then he's in trouble. Evan's making oh, hand gestures. He's doing a one straight and a one straight. So yeah. one straight aileron and a one straight forward, which is enough to cause him to bump into Vader. Yeah. Uh, so that's not ideal. And that, that came out for Evan. Uh, that came about as a result of his starting position. I feel like the bank would have fit if he wanted to come alongside the rock, but he's probably trying to avoid Poe. Ray does a cautious move. Just a two forward there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll see if Sintir goes to fighter or not. Yeah. I, I, I feel... Like I'm, I'm given ninety percent chance for Evan to one turn soon to your left. Yeah, there's a good chance of one or a two, right? I was thinking a two mm -hmm. would set him up to just go straight between, uh, straight between these guys here on a later turn if he wants to chase after Poe, leave Ray kind of straggling over at this, uh, this side of the board. Yeah, I mean he doesn't even need to get all committal like that. He can just do the one turn. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need to commit just yet. One or two would just suit him just fine. And... Poe's just doing a one bank. Um. Cliff keeping his distance. He's taking a focus. Yep. But that's it. Wow. This is an opportunity for Vader, depending upon what he's done. Yep. One bank for Vader. So it looks like they'll trade some range three shots here. Yes, but that favors Vader heavily. Um, it does, doesn't it? Uh, well, Poe does have four red dice. So, you know, if he gets lucky. Uh, only if Vader stays in the thing here. So we're checking for target yeah, we're checking for target lock. Ooh, Vader's out, out of range. Well, um, that, that was not great. But And he just decides to stick with it. Interesting. Uh, so Suntir does something very cagey. Interesting. Uh, barrel roll to the left. Uh, no, then he's dealing with that rock next turn. Uh, if he's to the left, he's next to the rock, right? I think you barrel roll him right. If, if he goes here, he's... Um, He's got options to go straight or turn. I don't think he'll he get a straight after that. Oh, I th I think so. Yeah. Hard to tell, though. Hard to judge distances from no, our camera. I'm here. perfectly certain. 100%. <laughs> You're the only one who's in doubt. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a better move altogether, though, to barrel roll, right? Oh, right. Then you're it, jousting. Then you're you jousting. You continue right. to draw red. Yeah. yeah but yeah. you can, like, she's got to do at least a one straight. And you can play around that. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah. yeah. So now, if Ray wants to turn in, she can't, or she gets soon to your behind her. So she has to continue to, which might be something he just has to accept. <laughs> That's the question, right? Mm -hmm. Like, when you're dealing with something like this, it's probably better to. Um... Oh great! Poe has a foils token. That's awesome. So his foils are currently open. Yeah. Yes. That helps us a lot. In these games where people use the cards mm. off the map, we have no idea what the heck is going on. <laughs> I prefer to use the token as well. Flipping the card is just too tedious, it um, is. usually, to pick it up. And it's better for everyone to be able to see the token on the board. And they're such pretty tokens. <laughs> Vader's got a three bank, right? Of course. Yeah, uh, a white three bank, probably. Yes. I'd almost be tempted to run past Poe. Mm-hmm. 
right? Just three bank towards Ray, mm -hmm. and then pincer Ray with both um, the um, the tie advance and the interceptor, right? Uh, that could be pretty nasty. And then Poe uh, probably ends up in the wrong position. Vader gets to move afterwards, so I doubt uh, Cliff is going to move into a blocking position for Poe. So Poe does have pattern analyzer. That's something to keep in mind. And true, leaving that open might have been one of the reasons that Cliff did not do second action with Poe. Hmm. So he could. And it could have also you. been the Death Troopers, though, which are huge versus him. True. Um, so I think the best thing for him to do is once again take no stress. Do a a four K could be interesting here. It may be uh, crazy, I, but if you do a 4K, then mm -hmm. Vader goes past you. Uh, the trouble with that is the Scarab Face Pilot is very likely to put itself right where your 4K would go. Right, because you can nail her on, smack into Vader, yep. and then do a maneuver. Yep, that's absolutely true. Yep, That thing is a lot faster than... Um, I think it's actually the, the absolutely 100% 100 best, 100 best call for Scarab to just get in the way there. Oh, yeah. Block whatever Poe's yeah, probably I mean, trying to do. Trade four dice with Poe. Why the heck not? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, carry our 47-point Scarab base pilot. Poe is 82 points. I could foresee um, Poe doing a one straight and a barrel roll. Yeah, I think that might be the right. Yeah. A one straight or something slow, maybe a one bank. Yeah. Try to catch Vader. Yeah. It's a good idea. However, if the Scarif does come that fast, it does mean that Vader... Um, can't do a slow move. Yeah, Vader's got to go fast. And my guess is Vader's going faster. Yeah. I would I, not be surprised mm -hmm. if he does the three bank and then boosts after Ray. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of deliberation going on here. Yeah. There's a yeah, lot it's of, pretty long dials around. A lot of choices. Phase. Zero Must says, uh, curious how Chewbacca has been for Cliff. The noob stress removal chick seems like a no brainer. So Chewbacca is actually really nice when the uh, when uh, Ray, mm -hmm. who this particular Ray build is operating on just one focus token per round. Chewbacca allows Ray to get another modification. In yeah. There. And and it's... Um, After a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 is dealt one damage card, recover one charge. So once Chewbacca starts with one charge, recovers one, first time a damage is dealt to someone, um, and then builds back up now um uh, i actually again played against cliff's lifts earlier and i think he triggered chewbacca once maybe twice um but i mean when he triggered it it was very useful for him um because um it's kind of like another force token right ray's force ray doesn't have too many she's only got two um she doesn't she only regains one per round and um it's a great card uh chewbacca yeah yeah absolutely Four uh, points, yeah. totally awesome. And just being able to get, I think it turns a focus into a crit, right? I believe. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and um, it definitely was useful uh, just for pushing through that extra little bit of um, damage. Now, the one bank here, if Sintir hasn't done a three bank, might just scare him off. Hoping Sintir will walk in. Uh, yeah, so we... the Scarif base pilot did that. Poe does a three bank. So blocked. yeah, you were right about trying to block with the scare base pilot. Not block though. Oh, Poe can do what he wants, but Vader is most likely doing a one straight. Um, oh, he's got a black one. Apostasis. Um, Raised turret is currently facing forward and back. Oh, and oh, Poe's using a slam, and hits the rock. As he feels, it was better than a range one. Yep, and I guess um, you've got the choice with... Uh, you might as well take the uh, disarm token yeah. here because he's not shooting. Not shooting, yeah. You've got the choice with Black One to take an Ion token instead, um, which can be really great for Poe for that one-time use slam, but... Uh, you see what rock, Evan so. did. So long as Evan was not overly cautious with uh, Suntir, this is his round. Mm. If it's a three now, bank or three turn, or even a four... Um, then he's great. So Vader's done the two forward and yeah, is just banked a lock, just hanging out there. Mm -hmm. He's not not taking any actions or anything like that. Four straight. Man, did he not give himself enough space? Uh, I think he can barrel roll out of that. In fact, um, he can definitely he... barrel roll boost, so he can get yeah. out of it. The yeah. question is, 
Can he still get a shot? Like, I think he might actually be able to pull alongside. If he does his barrel roll boost carefully, he's able to pull right alongside um, yeah. uh, Ray mm -hmm. if, he, if he bank boosts. I think he's still an arc, but we will see. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he could choose to boost here if he wanted to. Yeah, if he bank boosts, he pulls alongside and still has the shot, I think. Yeah, yep. that's not great mods. Which is a perfect... I mean, maybe he has it. We'll see. Ooh, he might not have that shot. Still, Whatever. he's not getting Soon shot himself, out. and that's kind of what Suntir does, right? He'd rather mm -hmm. not be shot than anything. And this is why I was thinking he could should consider rotating the arc, but Suntir would have just stayed in front instead. Yes, he would have just barrel rolled to the front and shot him in the face. So Shot they're checking runs. to see if Sunter has the shot. Looks like he does. Range one shot for Sunter okay. fell. Now, of course. Ooh, hot fire. So two damage into Ray. I mean, one thing that Cliff's uh, Huzzad uh, slam did is it got Poe away from that Scarif base pilot. Mm -hmm. So the Scarif base pilot now has to do something. Uh, sloop, probably. One straight and a sloop uh, towards the it's top okay. of the towards the top of the map, like this, yeah. right? And then facing this way. Yeah, that's it's okay. I mean, I'm thinking, how about a one bank ailerons, and then maybe a two bank afterwards? If that works just right, it can overshoot the rock. Uh, one bank aileron, two mm -hmm. bank towards Ray. Yeah, or maybe yeah. it has to be a two turn. That wouldn't be too bad, actually, if it were two turn. Now, I think this is a sloop round for, for Ray, or 4K. If she has it on her dial, I think the Vulcan still has the 4K. Yeah, I think there's a K turn on there. And I played the Vulcan at a couple of uh, the <laughs> tournaments. I cannot for the life of me remember. Um, now, he can boost, right? So he could sloop and then mm -hmm. boost straight again, yeah. um, which might actually be better than a 4K uh, because you're a little bit closer to wherever Suntir ends up. Suntir having to do that boost to get himself out has really put himself in a position where he's going to have to spend some time to come back around again. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's room for the hard two. Um, you might hit the rock. So you're looking at two bank or two straight or something else straight to clear the stress. Um, so Suntir is going to have to test, spend some time going around this rock uh, before he gets another useful shot. These are some long dial turns, folks. Okay, so the Scarif is going for it. Yep. Okay, I'm looks like he's got one or two bank here. Yeah, the one bank might make it. Yep, there it is. Yeah, yep. Well, plenty of room, plenty of room. Ooh, look at that. Sweet. Sweet. That's another reason not to do the K turn. Mm. Or the Talon. Yeah, I'm seeing a hard two from, yeah, probably from Poe. Yeah. I mean, what a mean? Talon roll, he could do it and just face to fa uh, be. Um, <laughs> is that the sloop? Yep. It is. Nope. No. Just a three bank. Huh. Gonna try to use the butt arc. You really want to be, have that front arc, though. It's so much better than, than shooting out the rear. Um, if he had slooped, he could also boost. But again, avoiding the stress might be the uh, the goal here. Yep. Ray is running. I okay. don't think that that's going to give him arc on the Scarif. Uh, I think he's got close. it. No, I think he's got it. But the question is actually range, because he might have the... Okay, everybody else in here but me thinks he's got it. <laughs> So he's he's basically disengaging. A force straight from Poe. Interesting. Not even trying to fight yeah. here. Uh, he's, he's just running close. away. Yeah, he's just running. Still, yeah. that Scarif's going to get a shot on something. <clears throat> a hard two plus would give him a great shot on the Scarif. But uh, this is not a great not a great turn for Cliff in terms of um, So here the shots. thing is, if he, he boosts and takes a focus with Poe, mm -hmm. then uh, he's in um, a bad position next round. He, doesn't have a good stress clearing move, which will come back into the fight. That's true. So he kind of, I think he maybe just focuses here and tries to <clears throat> tough it out. I don't See, know. I'm not thinking. I'm feeling like Ray's not in a great position for next turn. Um, I mean, she can do a three turn and then boost to come back into the fight, and that's that's pretty solid. Boost, boost, boost. and then she's um, maybe even well, she'd two. be facing straight, right? She'd be facing straight up if she wanted a straight boost. So yeah, four the, straight from Suntir, who's obvious also bailing. Obvious. Yep. I mean, Suntir had no yep. good choices there. Yep. And a boost. Yeah, he'll fly back later. Yep. Suntir's out of the game for the next Does couple rounds. Does Vader do the three turn? Oh, wow. He's even going to barrel roll here. Yeah, yeah. You, want him, you want him to get him back as soon as possible, right? Um, 
so that that bell roll could save you. Um, some Beta time. might do the three turn and follow it with an afterburners. Yeah, I no see. room for afterburners there. Oh, uh, maybe a straight boost. Mm -hmm. No, too close. Does to that the give rock. him Ray? Nah, he is too far. But he can roll. But now that he's rolled, he can't do afterburners. Correct. Um, afterburners so has to be the first. Gonna try the lock. Why not? Oh, it's close. Things we cannot Just see. Just out. Nope. Looks like it's out. So no lock for Vader, uh, which means... Uh, Ray might have a butt arc shot. And the Scarif has a shot at somebody of its choice. So oh, yeah. we got a range 3 butt arc shot from Ray. Now she cannot spend her force to modify blanks with this shot. Because that's only at the front arc? Correct. Yeah. So she gets two. That's still pretty spend good. Spend that. And acquire the lock. See, this is why Rose is yeah. so great, right? Yeah. It's so easy to get target locks. Scarif takes one. Yeah. That's one damage on the Scarif pilot. Yeah. So I think a lot of this behavior on Cliff's part has been dictated by that... Um, that pilot. The Scarif based pilot? By the Death Troopers. <clears throat> it's interesting. Maybe he should have just charged the thing, blown it out of the sky, dealt with the stress for one turn. Yeah, but he's got this is the Scarif based pilot doing three damage to Ray. Or to Poe? No, it must be Ray. Yeah. So Chewie is now active, if yeah. he remembers. We are one point from half point. It's on Ray. Oof. And all he's got to show for it, unfortunately, is one shield off the Scarif. Now, had he um, had Why he does Poe have a stress? What did he do? Good question. He did a four straight. Did he boost? Well, he wasn't stressed beforehand, so he must have done some double action thingy. Yeah. Uh, his things are close, so maybe he boosted and barrel rolled. And took a focus? He was on the rock. I don't know. Oh, maybe he took a focus, just in case. Yeah. I mean, yeah, either way. That's an odd choice, because now now he can't turn around. Yeah, now he has to two-turn. Scarif comes at him from behind. It's brutal. Oh, Pope does have R4. That actually opens up a little bit of options for him. Gives him the two. Mm -hmm. And the Scarif does what the Scarif do. One bank, one straight, and plenty of room for it. No bump, it looks like. How can you see that? It's behind the ship. You're just, yeah, you're just no, no, no. going on. Faith. No, no, no. The, like, the, 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 oh, what, no, no, that was wrong. What witchery is this? <laughs> you, can, you can see the, the shape of that, right? There nah, there's more there than that. Look at No, uh, a little bit more, but not much more. All right, so we have the two. <laughs> yeah. And Ray's going to try to get face-to-face -face with Vader. Yep. Which isn't a bad move. Yep, either Vader or Suntir, right? I mean, Vader uh, with Afterburners can just crash over that rock. Why Trigger does he have all that stress stuff. to it? I don't know. He must have done something. Yeah. I didn't see it. Okay, so this is pretty much... Yep, so he's yep. able to do that. Clears his stress. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a tough matchup for Cliff. He's moving first. Yeah. And there are aces <clears throat> on the table. It's it's really hard. It just seems to me the... the um, the strategy against the scarif based pilot is to charge it. Wrecks the game state. <laughs> now it looks like he can do the barrel roll. The question is, did the barrel roll get him up? Yeah, Since he's wrecked the game state, it's <laughs> unclear. It's well, unclear. he he um, let Cliff place it back where he wanted, um, and I think it's actually still a little bit more tilted than it was to begin with. But I mean, he can go all the way forward with the barrel roll, and that actually probably does dodge, dodge the arc. Yeah. So it is a focus. He's just focus, target locking. He's really just going to, wow, he's just going to tank. Because Suntir's coming around. That's yeah. the deal. So Ray is going to get her shot here. Now, Chewie has been triggered, so. <clears throat> Suntir's going to boost. Yeah, evade boost, probably. Wow. Some serious, I mean, there's only six health left on Ray, and these guys do both shoot first. There it is, evade boost. And Ray gets all her bonuses here, though. This is, the, I mean, this is kind of the ideal situation. Well, remember, she her. has two force to spend. Mm -hmm. She's got Chewbacca. And she's got Chewie. And she's also got all her free blanks and mm -hmm. the re-rolls thereof. Or the, um, I mean, if you've ever fought Vader, you know Vader always rolls modifications of. three hits and a crit. Uh, every time. Or that's a hit crit focus, it looks like. So he's just going to throw us into your wind here. And it looks like an eyeball... And invade, so he might as well. Does that include the blank for? I'm Although, sure. can you use the blank for anything? You can use it to acquire a target lock. 
So he's doing that. I think I think um, Cliff forgot to add his blank there. Wounded pilot. Okay, that's that's not so bad. And there goes Vader with absolute murder. There's the blank. There it is. Oh, maybe that first shot was range two. Another blank. Now he can blow both force here to take two less hits, but still have the two crits. Or he can save the. I mean, he's got one crit to use against Suntir. Yeah. So he's going to do one. Just and, one. Yeah. That's hoping you don't get a direct hit. So I'm not sure what happened. It was a direct hit, it looks like. So so what happened? So Ray's still alive, yes? No? No. No. It was there a was hit. a direct hit, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he should have spent... That was some gamble by Evan. He should have... Yeah, should have spent both uh, both force. Yeah, when you've got two crits coming through, I mean, you really have to because like there's a whole bunch of things that could trigger it. Like, there's a good chance. Leak. There's a good chance it's just two direct hits, which uh, you gotta you gotta account for. So we got one damage on Poe. So, wow, this just became. Is Ray once per activation? There you go. Right. So it's only one. So you so... could have spent another one on a focus had he had it. Uh, sorry, an eyeball or so. Yeah. Yep, that was really unfortunate. I mean, Vader was always going to get four results, but uh, soon tier getting all three. That was pretty nasty. Well, there you go. Yeah, raise once per action. So it's not just you can spend them to change blanks. It's once you can spend one to change blanks uh, into evades, which is um, limiting, unfortunately. Running away with Poe mm -hmm. has, has really just meant that this Scarif can, like, push ships around the board yeah uh i think i feel like cliff needed to be more aggressive um he could have been he could have taken the scarif off the board by now if last turn rather than running with both his ships he had just turned them both around right yeah i, I think it came earlier <laughs> but certainly those the 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 outcome mm -hmm. uh last round was pretty amazing okay so we got a jam on poe just in case he does something else so poe's best hope here is to do a three turn and then just do like a barrel roll or something. But he's f opening the foils. That looks like a 4K to me. Ugh. Who cares about a jam token when you can't take actions Well, anyways. he does a pattern analyzer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, Sounds a good call. And he just boosts out. Oh, and stress token's coming. There it is. There it is. Okay. Vader's like, I've done my job. <laughs> I'm just going to chill, man. Just be scary. Evan's going to purposely put himself behind a rock to inconvenience himself for rounds. Good sportsmanship, Evan. No, he's got, he can he can do a straight know, past that rock there. Joke. We've got what looks like a target lock. Attempt at a target lock, but nope, failed. he succeeded. There it is. Oh, he, he did. Just went up. Oh, in which case, Poe is in bad way. Suntir is like, I just did my job. So this is this is pretty bad news. Whew. So does Vader ever roll anything less than getting everything after his mods? No. So hey, That's two, two hits and a crit. So one crit. And what do we got? Two leak. Ah. Oh, okay. Two leak. Nasty card. That's the sort of thing that can um, cause Poe to die real quick. Yeah, uh, I suspect this is the end of Poe here. Yeah. What do you do? Charge Vader and hope you get past him? He's stressed, so yeah, two turn is the move. Yep, two turn. And uh, well, the unfortunate thing. Oh, wait, no, no, no. The Scarf based pilot will be gone by then. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. There's no way Evan can keep it there without. Yep. Yeah. So I don't know. It just like flies <clears throat> off off the board. <laughs> uh, you know, one bank and then sloop. Yeah, yep. sure. Sloop it is. Yeah. Nope, he's got to do the one bank first. Uh -huh. He Sloop did say yourself. sloop, though. Yep. Is it a one sloop? Yeah, look at that. He'll be back sometime. He won't have arc here, but... Uh... No, but he'll be ready to one bank next turn and mm -hmm. do some pain. I would open them. Yep. Don't think a barrel roll is going to be super helpful here. Well, if he moved after Vader. Yeah, absolutely. You could try barrel roll boost or boost barrel roll, but I don't think so. I think Vader's going to do a two bank, and that will get anything. I think he said focus boost. Yeah, he's bank boosting. Okay. 
hoping either to get a shot on Vader or that Vader's going to pass him somehow or get blocked. Yeah, no way. Probably Vader's not, though. Vader's bank. probably doing a one-bank. Yep. So these two joust. Vader just avoids the rock. And that is an exchange. Vader wins. Almost every time. Mm -hmm. I mean, barring enormous variance. <clears throat> and he goes first. There's a very good chance that Poe does not get a shot here. No, they're both sixes. Oh, they're so, both sixes. Yeah. So, Sorry. And Poe has a very good player, chance that so. Poe dies, though, here. Yes. Uh, I mean, he's, he's got three hull, and Vader, one of Vader's hits that gets through will be a crit. So. Yeah. I mean, Vader's probably the most powerful ship in the whole game. Small base ship, at any rate. Probably whole game. I mean, the combination of FCS and advanced targeting computer and all that means you've got um, very consistent shots. Mm -hmm. uh, throw in hate, and you are basically I always throwing three hits. Poe tries to kill soon here <laughs> Just to get the points? Well, this is the cut, so <laughs> points don't matter. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Just to have the satisfaction. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you shoot Vader, you have the opp opportunity of landing like a crit. Suntir has bullseye as well. But it's range, again. it's range one into both. Yeah, so you shoot Suntir. Maybe you get a nice crit and disable him. Oh, the rules only yeah. two. And Suntir will take one. Let's see which ship Evan favors. Will he roll with Suntir first? That would be Suntir with Predator. Yep. Two aids and looks like two damage go through. Oh, so it's a hit. it's the hit first. Yeah. Well, we got a one hull po. Structural damage. Uh -huh. Yeah. That is over, folks. There it is. Well, another Ouch. smackdown on the stream mm -hmm. this evening. Hope you've enjoyed.